Thank you for registering to compete at Field Day, and welcome to the Captain's Meeting. For a complete list of rules and objectives, please refer to your information packet. The objective of Bago is to earn points by throwing the beanbag onto the Bago board or into the hole. One participant at a time will toss the beanbag. Landing a bag in a hole in the bago board is worth three points. Landing a bag on the board, even if it is hanging off of the board, is worth one point. Points do not cancel out. Any bag that falls off the board will not receive any points. The objective of tug of war is to pull the rope against the opposing team so that the flag crosses to your side of the center line. No more than 10 participants are required and at least five must be female. The participants will be alternately arranged, male, female, male, female, and so on. One person from each team is required to signal to the referee when their team is ready to start the pull. The referee will signal when the rope crosses the center line, and participants cannot wrap the rope around their hands or bodies. Complete the shuttle run using all four of your teammates with the fastest time. Four participants are required, and at least two must be female. The first participant will run one shuttle lap between the marked areas. The next runner cannot start until they have received the baton from the first runner. Points will be awarded to the fastest times. The baton must be held at all times. Runners must stay behind the line until they receive the baton. The objective of the hamster ball race is to run the hamster ball to the designated line trade out with a teammate, and have the teammate run the hamster ball back to the starting line in the fastest amount of time. Two participants are required for this event, and at least one must be female. Participants will run the hamster ball across the field past the designated line. Once the first participant reaches the line, their teammates must stop the ball. After the first participant exits the ball, the second participant will enter and immediately head back to the starting line. Time will stop when the entire hamster ball crosses the starting line. Points will be awarded to the fastest times. No jumping from or into the hamster ball is allowed. The objective of hockey accuracy is to accurately shoot the puck into the net at varying distances in order to receive points. There will be one participant, male or female, for this event. Shots may be taken from three different lines that are worth one, two, and three points, respectively. All shots must be taken behind the designated line. Participants that cross the line will be disqualified. The objective of side surfing is to move as a team on the side surfer in order to achieve the fastest time crossing the finish line. Six participants are required for this event, and at least two must be female. All participants will be on the side surfers facing the same direction and holding onto the ropes to hold the side surfer to their feet. Teams must walk in unison on the side surfer to completely cross the finish line. This is a timed event. The objective of football accuracy is to accurately throw a football to your teammates at varying distances in order to receive points. Five participants are required and at least two must be females. Each distance is assigned a different point value. Participants catching the football must remain in the designated areas at all times. Each team will be given 10 throws. The football must be thrown to and caught by the 10-yard participant before throwing to the 20-yard participant and so on. Once the 50-yard participant catches the football, the throwing participant may throw to any of their teammates to gain extra points. Participants must remain inside the hula hoop at all times without touching it. The objective of the Wacky Relay is to complete four shuttle-style races in the fastest amount of time. Six participants are required for this event. Two must be female. A participant may not run forward to add distance to their leap or step over their partner. Potato sack participants must remain in the sack throughout the entire relay. For the egg and spoon carry, if the egg drops, the participant must return to the start line and start over. The objective of Bombs Away is to transport five balls of varying sizes into a bin using only the backs of two teammates. Three participants are required for this event, and at least one must be female. Two participants will stand behind the designated line until their teammate places a ball between their backs. No arm linking or touching the balls is permitted. 
They must then transport the ball and drop it in the bin in the order of the basketball, soccer ball, football, softball, and racquetball. Teams must pick up dropped balls and run back to the starting line to have their third teammate replace it and try again. The objective of Battleship is to sink the opponent's boat with the use of the three provided buckets. Teams will battle in heats and the winning team will advance. Four participants are required and may be any gender. Participants will also be provided with a life jacket and a paddle. Life jackets may not be used as a defensive shield. Teams may not throw water from inside of their canoe into the pool or into another canoe. Standing up in the canoe, sitting on the crossbeams, jumping out of the boat, or using the paddle to splash or make contact with any other participant or equipment from another team will result in a penalty. Each participant must complete the full run of the obstacle course. This year's course layout will be a surprise. Two participants are required, one must be male and the other must be female. The Mind Challenge will be a surprise, so be ready for anything. Each team will select three participants to compete in this event. No electronic devices, books, or any other material will be allowed. Thank you for attending the captain's meeting and best of luck to your teams. 